speak to Liberal Democrat MP Munira Wilson. Uh, Munira, you're not going to get a general election. Why waste your breath in keeping calling for one continually? Well, I know the people are calling for a general election. I can tell you from talking to my constituents, and if you look at the polling, the British public want to have a say on who is their Prime Minister and are sick uh, and fed up of this conservative chaos that has been brought upon us, not just for the last few days and weeks, but frankly for months now. Uh, and it's, a, it's time that they actually gave the country a say rather than for uh, you know, having the third prime minister I I this year who hasn't been, uh, this one, hasn't been elected by a single vote uh, of the public and nor was Liz Truss, uh, only Conservative Party members. So people are desperate for a stay, say and lifelong Conservative voters are coming up to me in my constituency saying they're fed up and they can't possibly support this government anymore. The problem is, though, given the economic circumstances, no matter who gets in, whether it's a Labour government or whether maybe it's a coalition of Lib Dem and Labour, uh, would you really want that job and having to take that uh, economy on and, and solve the problems? Look, what this country needs at this moment is some uh, stability, not uh, a, a Conservative Party that is... Uh, mired itself in civil war and brought chaos upon us. They've pushed up people's mortgage bills by hundreds of pounds a month. They've got left schools and hospitals on their knees uh, struggling to cope. Yes, it's a difficult situation, but what we need is uh, a change of government and people who are actually going to put the country first rather than their party first, which is all we've seen from this Conservative Party. And your reaction to our first ever British Asian Prime Minister, what does that mean to you, Manera? Well, look, uh, as I, I use the uh, label brown on myself, I, as a brown person myself, of uh, you know, British Asian myself, obviously it is... Uh, you know, an important moment in terms of our, our history and our social history to see a, a brown PM in charge. Uh, my parents honestly didn't think that this, this could or would happen. Uh, that doesn't take away from the fact that I profoundly disagree with most of what Rishi Sunak stands for and I feel that he's out of touch with the, with the country. Uh, but yes, of course, we must acknowledge that this is a really important moment uh, for, for diversity and also for showing people uh, of all ethnic origins out there in the, in the country that it is possible to raise to the, the highest rank of, of government as well as business and, and in all other walks of life. So, of, of course, from that perspective, it is a positive moment. But you have talked about the division in the Tory party. Uh, I think civil war has even been used by one or two people. But clearly the, the, the initial reaction at least seems to have brought the party together. They may be there for the next two years. Well, I'm not sure it has brought the party together. We're seeing a lot of sniping from the sidelines already. And S such we've as? We've got uh, the, the budget coming up next. The, well, I mean, you've seen people like uh, Nadine Doris and Christopher Chope all actually calling for a general election, just as we are, um, and people are concerned about what's coming down the tracks and that he doesn't have a mandate. And next week, no doubt, we're going to hear a whole load of uh, cuts to, to public spending and public services uh, uh, outlined, none of which were voted for by the public, and hence, uh, and, and I suspect you'll see uh, you know, the rats in a sack fighting uh, once again openly over what's, uh, what's announced in the budget next week. Manera Wilson from the Liberal Democrats, thank you very much indeed.